Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and in this video, I am going to be talking about a little bit of stuff that's been data mined post-update last night. Obviously, after last night, most of you know that we got the Capital Supremacy game mode, alongside the two new reinforcements and the lightsaber changes, as well as Count Dooku's pajamas skin. Now, in terms of the update, I'm really enjoying things so far, but obviously, what comes with every update is some new data mining. Now, the thing that's been data mined in this one is really interesting, because a little while ago, if you remember, there was a couple of videos floating around including one from myself that saw clone commandos in game files now these were confirmed to be for the aerial so nobody thought anything of it and i actually removed the video that i had posted on that but now that we have more information there has actually been the clone commandos dc 17 m blaster in the game files after the update last night which is incredible if you can look on screen here you can see some of the stuff that's been data mined here it's all over reddit at the moment i really don't know who to give credit to but this post is by tgkdr so shout out to you for data mining all this and putting it up on Reddit. It's really interesting to see that they're actually considering doing clone commandos. I think going about it this way and adding more reinforcements is definitely a good thing. In my opinion, anything that minimizes the chance of people playing a Wookiee against me is definitely a positive in my book. Now the clone commandos, you guys, if you don't know, there have been some really cool looks at them in the past. There's some amazing videos out there. Republic Commando was an amazing game as well. Something that I've often considered going back to and streaming now that I have an Xbox with backwards compatibility. So if that's something you guys want to see, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So the DC-17M is pretty much all that's coming up in the game files for the Clone Commandos, but it does actually refer to the Clone Commandos. If we take a look at this image here, it says Ability underscore Clone Commando underscore DC-17M. There's also Blaster Projectile Clone Commando DC-17M, Weapon Firing Clone Commando, and Weapon Sway Clone Commando. So there's multiple things there that they've touched on. It's really a cool thing to think about. If they can do it and pull it off, I would absolutely be in love. Clone Commandos would be a lot of fun in Battlefront 2, and I know the community would agree with me. In terms of Capital Supremacy, I'm really enjoying it so far. The BX Commando droid is really fun to use the Vibro Sword. I think the Blaster for him needs a little bit of a buff. It doesn't do quite as much damage, and if you're going one-on-one -on -one with an Arc Trooper, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to lose unless you land really clean headshots. So I think if they're going to look at changing anything, that might be something that needs to be done. In terms of the Arc Trooper, though, it's pretty much perfect. I think he's well balanced. He does a really good job when he's on the battlefront. The dual wielding pistols is probably my favorite thing about it of all. I spent four and a half hours streaming last night and I didn't even touch a hero. I played reinforcements the entire time. It was just that much fun. Capital Supremacy as a game mode is good. However, I think the rounds last a little bit too long for the credit payout. I played a round for about 45 to 50 minutes and the credit payout was only 865 credits. So if you're thinking in that in terms of GA, you play 15 maybe 20 minutes and you get about 800 credits 900 if you do well so if you're playing this for 45 to 50 minutes sometimes longer i saw a few games go for two hours last night that people were talking about on twitter and reddit so if you're going to do that the credit payout needs to be much higher either that or they're going to have to shorten the rounds put a game timer on there or a clock or something that keeps you intact for a shorter round i know some people like the higher rounds and it's been a bit of a mixed review in terms of that but if you're going to be sitting there for an hour it is going to get repetitive it is going to be the same thing over and over again. We're going to be watching the same cutscenes four or five times, which we found last night while we were playing. But in terms of the game mode overall, I think it has been a success. Pipeline Junction West has been really cool, and I think it's going to be a fun map to play. We also know that they're going to be supporting this game mode in the future, as to some tweets and things that have been posted around. There was one of the posts earlier that mentioned further map support for this in the future. So hopefully we can get some other maps. I think getting into other eras would be cool as well, but I definitely want to see what what they can do in the Clone Wars era more specifically. Anyways, I know this was a short one. I just wanted to get this information out to you guys in terms of the Clone Commando files. It's going to be really cool to see what they do. I'm excited. I hope we get them as a reinforcement in the game at some point, possibly as an enforcer to minimize Wookiee usage on all the planets. So who knows? We'll see. Fingers crossed that we do get Republic Commandos in the future. If you're not familiar with them, go look them up on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff around. They are very cool and you will be very excited to have them in Battlefront 2. Now remember, just because they're in the game files doesn't mean anything is confirmed, but I would love to say that they are probably coming some point in the future. Nothing's confirmed until it is by the devs, but we can always have hope. We will always have that, won't we? Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi, and may the Force be with you always.